Good afternoon, everybody. How are we doing this wonderful Sunday afternoon? I know each and every one of you had an awesome time at your home church today, and so did we. Praise his holy name. But again, we are here, Chosen Few Outreach Ministry, and we have Hour of Empowerment. And I just want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in to this live broadcast, and we're praying that you receive something today. We are going to have our very own evangelist, Jonathan, who is going to be delivering the Word of God. So I want you to prepare your hearts today for God to bless you. Now, I want you to do one thing for me, please. Now, we can do evangelism. We don't always got to be out in the streets doing it. So I want each and every one of you today, I want you to start pushing that like button, for one, and then start sharing, 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 sharing. Because I want you to share this to as many people as you possibly can, because I know that there is a word today that is going to bless you and bless any and all of your loved ones that are connected on social media. Amen. Praise God. But before we get going, we're going to have Evangelist uh, Maria. She's going to come up and she's going to open us up in prayer. And then I will come right back and bring up the man of God. All right. Amen. Good afternoon. Let's bow our heads and pray. Father God, we thank you for today's word. We thank you for your message. We ask that those that are tuned in, that they receive it, God, in their hearts and in their minds, Lord, and learn more of you. We ask that all those that are being tuning in right now, or the ones that are not yet tuned in, that you give a reminder, Lord God, that you have something for them. We ask that you anoint the word, that you release the word, that you empower the word, and that we may live it, Lord God that you bless our brother Jonathan and that you use him, Lord God, to speak your word and only your word yes, and none of him yes, and none of his emotions, Lord God, get in the way, but that is a direct word from you, that you use them like you've used them before. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. All right, praise his holy name. All right, all right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sitting down? Are you, are you comfortable? Are your ears are open? Is your heart open to receive God's word? I hope it is, and I pray it really is. And I hope you've already shared this already. But if you haven't, please start sharing it. Start sharing it. And if for some of, some of you that may not see it until later, we're also going to be uploading this to YouTube. So if some of you may not have you know, social media, well, YouTube is going to be available for some of your friends that doesn't have social media as well, okay? So you can go to our Children for Outreach Ministries YouTube channel, and you can share it from there to your friends that aren't on social media. Again, without further ado, this man of God, I'm telling you, he has grown so much in the Lord. And during, the, the, during the time that he's been with this ministry, I'm telling you, God has taken him leaps and bounds. I mean, as an evangelist, he started off like, oh, I don't know if I can speak. But then all of a sudden, God just rose up in him and let him know it is never him. But it's the Holy Spirit that uses the man of God. And we just thank God for evangelist Jonathan. But without further ado, I am bringing up the man of God, evangelist Jonathan. Come on up and let the Holy Spirit use you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Okay, how's everyone doing today? Amen. Uh, I'm going to start off first by seeing a little prayer of, of my own. And uh, Heavenly Father, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to come and preach your word today, Father God. I thank you, Father God, because where, where I saw a mess, you saw a message, Father God. And you're using me today, Father God. And Lord, I just ask that you open the hearts and the minds of, of people, Father God, who, wherever they may be or at whatever time that they get to see this video, Father God, yes. that Lord, that the message that, that, that you have uh, uh, are using today, Father God, that they it may reach them, Father God, and break them chains, Father God, and open their mind to to surrender to Jesus, yes, Father Lord God, Jesus. and yes, give their lives all in for Jesus, yes, Father God. I thank you, Lord. I yes. thank you because you are awesome and you work yes, in Lord. just the most amazing ways, Father God. Yes, Lord Jesus. And I praise your glorious name yes, in yes, Jesus' yes, name. Amen. 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 Okay. Get off the fence. Amen. That's the title, as you have seen. Get off the fence. Um, why did they use that title? Well, in case anyone is not aware, the fence represents compromise or compromising of God's word. Amen. Uh, so let's get it clear, church, family. It does not matter if you're standing on the fence, 
sitting on the fence Amen. or just lightly leaning against the fence. Amen. Stop it and Amen. get off the fence. Amen. Okay? Newsflash, the devil, Satan, he owns that fence. Amen. Okay? Come on. Come on. So there is no wiggle room for compromising if you're a true follower of, of or a disciple of our Lord Christ Jesus. Amen. Okay? Amen. So I'm going to read right here out of Revelations chapter 3, verse 15 to 17. And it goes, and, and this is Christ, uh, the letters to the seven churches, but this one in particular, uh, it goes, I know your deeds, that you are neither cold, and I'm reading out of the Amplified, so you are neither cold, invigorating, refreshing, nor hot, healing, therapeutic. I wish you were cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, spiritually, spiritually useless. Okay, I, I'm going to have to repeat that one more time. So because you are lukewarm, spiritually useless, and neither hot nor cold, I will vomit you out of my mouth, rejecting you with disgust. Okay. And because you say, I am rich, I have prospered and grown wealthy, I have no need of nothing or of anything, you know, and you, know, and you do not know that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked without hope and in great need. Mm. So that second part right there from 17, that just reminds me, man, that every day we should all be, you know, Proverbs 3, 5, right? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Amen, amen. When you try doing things on your own, Leaning on your own understanding, on your own knowledge, yes. that's when everything just, you're going to crash and burn. Amen. Because Amen. Amen. We, we can't do nothing right. We can't. It's, right. it's the Lord. He's the one that guides us. He's right. the one that's going to give us the wisdom to Amen. do things correctly, yes. properly, and in line with his word. Amen. Okay? Amen. So uh, I'm going to move on over to, oh, and. One thing that I just uh, realized today, right, when I was reading this, because I'm reading out of the Amplified, but I, I checked it on my ESV Bible, and I came to understand cold and hot, right? Before I used to think cold, oh, you're, you're in the world and hot. No, it's telling you that he wants you cold, invigorating, and refreshing. So go preach that word. And be invigorating. Get people motivated to, right. to search you know, uh, for Jesus. Amen. To look for Jesus, right? Amen. Or or hot. He wants you to be able to come and pray for people and heal them in the name right. of Jesus, right? Amen. You know, and and, and 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 teach them the word. Right. Right. So he wants you to be busy doing one thing or the other one for him. Right. And that's Amen. and that's something that opened my eyes. I was like, wow, you know, because I used to always think. Right. It's either your other world or you're in the world. But right. no, he wants you to be doing his work Amen. in different, in different uh, you know, temperatures. <laughs> Amen. Okay? Amen. So we're going to go over uh, to Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And it reads, and this is from the Amplified. And do not be conformed to this world any longer with his superficial values and customs right. but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually yes. by renewing of your mind focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes Amen. so that you may prove for yourselves what the will of God is that which is good and acceptable and perfect in his plan and purpose for you Amen. For each one of us, okay. Now, I want to emphasize on um, on the part where it says, uh, "But be transformed and progressively changed." Okay, that's. I, I want you to uh, keep that in mind. And I'm going to go over to First John chapter five, verse twenty through 21 okay and the word of God says here again 
is giving us more instructions. And we have seen and know by personal experience that the Son of God has actually come to the world and has given us understanding and insight so that we may progressively and personally know, know him who is true and we are in him who is true. His Son, Jesus Christ, it, uh, this is the true God and eternal life, right? Amen. Amen. So, there again, progressively and personally come to know Him, right? Amen. Amen. Now, and then we'll reach up to uh, verse 21. Little children, believers, dear ones, guard yourself from idols, false teachings, moral compromises, and anything that would take God's place in your heart. Mm. Do, you, do you hear that? Do you understand what he's saying right there? Amen. You know, uh, there's, there's many things in this world that the enemy uses. And you need to be on, uh, on your toes. You need to be ready Amen. to be able to discern that. Amen. And, and how do you do that? How do you prepare that? Well, you got to stay in the Word. Amen. You got to read the Word of God. Yes. But not just one time. You got to stay in it continually. Amen. Okay? Amen. And, and, and there's other things like, uh, you know, we all have excuses. Oh, I don't have time. Well, you know, nowadays we have apps. Click that app on and turn the audio Bible on and listen to the Bible. Amen. Okay? Listen to it. When you don't have time, listen to it. If you're cleaning, if you're working out, if you're at work, push play on that and let the word of God come into your into your ears instead of the worldly music or anything that's not of God does not does not glorifying him. Amen. You know the the outcome of playing. And, and or gently leaning it's you don't want to go there I'm telling you, you don't want to go there the word of God tells you exactly what's going to happen Amen. you need to be standing on the rock and, and, and know that you what you're doing you know you're going to be no you're going to know that man I'm going to go and be with the Lord Amen. okay yeah, you're not going to be fearing am I doing things right am I right. doing or well, nobody's perfect but you're going to know. The Holy Spirit is going to let you know you're, you're doing good. Amen. You're doing good. Amen. How, is he gonna, uh, how, how are you going to know? How is he going to tell you? Well, the people around you. That's right. Mm -hmm. right? The people around you. That's right. Mm -hmm. Even people who are not uh, followers of Christ, they're going to they're gonna see a difference in you. They're going to know something's different about you. Amen. Okay? I'm going to hop on over to 2 Timothy chapter 3. Uh, verse uh, 16. Okay. Let's go here. And it says, All scripture is God breathed, given by divine inspiration, and is profitable for instruction, okay, for conviction of sin. Right there. You want to know if something's not right? You stay in this word. It's going to tell you. It's going to tell you, it's going to tell you if you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. Amen. All right? Because don't go because of your feelings. Amen. Man, the flesh, the feelings, they're going to get you in trouble. Amen. You need to stand Amen. on his word. This is Amen. what's going to guide you. This is going to uh, keep you in line, you know? Amen. Amen. Think of the Bible as, you know, nowadays, if, I don't know, I, I don't, my car's not that new, but, but now I've seen these cars that have these, these computerized, I don't know if they're laser or what, mm -hmm. but if you lean close to that to that white line on the on the edge, it starts beep 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 beep. Yeah. Well, this is what the Bible. This is the is, that's how the Bible's gonna work. You start leaning a little bit too much, it's gonna start beeping. It's gonna start telling you, well, hold up, you need to get back in line, you know, Amen. get back in line because, Amen. okay, and it, and it says for correction of error and restoration to obedience. Amen. See there, you get convicted. And then it'll teach you how to correct yourself and get back in, to being obedient. Amen. Okay, For training in righteousness, learning to live in conformity to God's will, both publicly and privately. Amen. So that means, well, let me, let, let me finish it off. Behaving honorably and personally in, 
and personal with personal integrity and moral courage. Amen. That means that when you're at church or you're out somewhere and you're oh okay, there's a man of God, there's a woman of God there. But you come home and you want to start putting on these these shows and and you know if if you're not getting convicted, okay, you need to ask the Lord what's going on, okay. Me personally, I don't really watch movies no more. I don't watch uh, TV shows. If it has cussing, if it has sexual scenes, uh, I, no, fast forward, nah. I'm not even going to bother with that. You know, there's many other things that I can preoccupy myself with that, uh, that, uh, that's way better than that, you know. Amen. So, um, and again, you grow spiritually stronger and more aware of what is in line with God's will for you and your family when you stay in God's word continually, okay? And as you grow walking in the, in the spirit daily, you begin to dislike and purposely reject anything and everything that is not of God, Amen. okay? Amen. See, this is what I believe happened in me, okay? This transformation, if it ain't gro gro uh, glorifying the Lord, if it's not uh, in line, if there's something that I know that the that the Lord is not happy, wouldn't be happy with, I don't want it. You know, even if He He permits it, I'd rather not because if it ain't going to help me get better and 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 learn more about the Lord and grow, so He can use me the way He wants to use me, I don't need it and I don't want it. Okay. Amen. Amen. There, there's a song that goes like this, and I'm pretty sure you guys heard it. If not, uh, might want to, uh, you know, listen to it. It, it. it goes, the more I seek you, the more I find you. And the more I find you, the more I love you. Amen. Okay? And of course, the more you start falling in love with the Lord, the more you start surrendering Amen. and living for the Lord Amen. by being doers of the word. Amen. Okay? Amen. You don't want to, you don't want to, you want to do as much as what the Lord has asked you. And, and, and there's, there's already a plan. There's already, he's giving you already a calling. Okay. You can't use, oh, well, I don't know. What my, well, yeah, but he's already said, I want you to go out and preach the word of God. Okay. Go, go tell the lost, you know, the message of, of Jesus Christ. Go tell yes. them that, that, that if they don't come to him and accept him as Lord and Savior, tell them the truth. There's a lake of fire that's waiting for them. Amen. And, and believe me, you guys do not want to. Be, I know I am not trying to go there. I know. I lived my life recklessly before when I was young. Okay, I thought I was, nothing can touch me. I thought I was tough. I thought, you know, I was just crazy and wild. And you know what? Something that will always keep me in check is because I knew. You know, and, and, and I thank God because I thank God that the parents that he gave me because they put that seed in me Amen. and that Holy Spirit, he wasn't letting go because he had a plan for me. Yeah. And that seed, the yeah. Holy Spirit, because of that seed, every time I was thinking the worst and thinking to do the worst, that, 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 that the Holy Spirit be like, hmm, yeah, no, I don't think you should do that, Amen. you know, and a lot of times that that voice that I that I know for a fact was the Holy Spirit yeah. kept me from doing things that would have got me even in more trouble yes, or amen. even death. Amen. Okay. Amen. So now this leads me to another issue concerning church family. And let's read First John chapter two verse fifteen through seventeen. Okay. And it goes. And, and, and the heading on this chapter, do not love the world. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Come on, you can see, you can see what's going on right now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mentioned yet last week that the Lord, man, when there's a message he wants to get out, mm. it, it's it's amazing how he works. Yes, it is. You know, he's gonna use all his his father, his disciples. Right. He's gonna you. He's gonna have that message or part of that message. But you're gonna know, man. I just heard that over there. I'm hearing it here now, man. 
And you're going to hear it there because he's going to, that message that he wants to get out to his children, they're going to get it. Nobody's going to be able to stop that message. Amen. Nobody. That's right. That's right. Do not love the world of sin that opposes God and his precepts, mm, come on. nor the things that are in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Mm. Mm. Come on. For all that is in the world, the lust and the sensual cravings of the flesh and the lust and longing of the eyes and the boastful pride of, the, of life, pretentious confidence in one's resources or in the stability of earthly things, these do not come from the Father, but are from the world. Amen. The world is passing away. And with it, its lust, the shameful pursuits and, un uh, and ungodly longings, but the one who does the will of God and carries out his purposes lives forever. Amen. He's talking to somebody right now. Yes, yes. Okay? Pay attention. He's talking to somebody right now. Wherever you're at, wherever you may be, and you're struggling, and, and you have questions, and you know something, you've heard something, somebody might have planted a seed, and you're struggling. He's talking to you right now. Amen. He's Amen. telling you exactly what you need to do. Amen. Listen. Listen. There's one thing that I've come to learn by reading the Word. The Word tells you, if there's something that you need and you want, ask the Father. Praise God. He'll give it to you. That's right. If you want, Lord, I just want to know the truth. Amen. We'll be, before you read that Word, you, you, you pray and you just tell him, Lord, Father, can you just show me the truth? I, I really want to know the truth. And He will open your eyes. And he will show you, okay? It, it's not going to be one of those, I'm going to open to any chapter. No, you're going to be reading and then eventually you're going to come to it. Or you're going to be hearing something and you're going to, oh man, whether it be a song or a video. And the Lord's going to say, it can even be a billboard, okay? And you're driving around and all of a sudden you're like, you know, and you're going to know. That's, that's how amazing our God is, you know? He won't leave you, but you got to want him. you got to pray to him, you know, yes. and seek him. Amen. Okay? Amen. Now, I'm going I'm to also read 1 Peter 1.14. Amen. I kind of like this new way. I was messing with those little sticky notes like last time. I think you had me crazy. Okay. Praise God. Okay. So... 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 14, Amplified. Live as obedient children of God. Yes. Do not be conformed to the evil desires which governed you in your ignorance before you knew the requirements and transforming power of the good news regarding salvation. Yes. 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 Christians, Brothers and sisters, this is for you guys because yes. you already accept it, mm -hmm. okay? You need to know what the Word of God is telling you, how to live your life, Amen. what to say yes to and what to say no to, yes. okay? If you're here thinking, well, I don't think that's, is it? I don't think that, and you're asking people and picking and, and trying to uh, get an okay from somebody, you already know. You already know. <laughs> Because if the Word of God, you know that if you go and you read the Word of God, it's going to tell you bluntly, stop it. That's right. You're wrong. You're in the yeah. wrong. Okay? So, now, I must say this, okay? I'm out, and I talked about it earlier, I'm always amazed at how the Lord works. Uh, last week's Bible study on Romans 13 fits right in with what I'm about to speak on. For those who believe that as Christians, we are not supposed to get into politics, well, actually, that's wrong, okay? That's wrong, okay? The Lord has blessed us in this country to be able to speak out, speak up, and get involved, right? Amen. You're not being rebellious because that's the law of the land here, the Constitution and the way that our legislation and the way the government works gives us the opportunity and the right 
to be able to speak up and speak out right. against evil things, right? Amen. So, we need to get involved. Vote for God-fearing candidates. That's right. Yeah. I don't care what party you claim to be. In fact, you shouldn't be claiming a party. Okay? Party. You shouldn't be claiming no party. <laughs> uh, I'm Democrat or I'm Republican right. or I'm some third unknown heard of party. You need to vote for, and I don't care what party they are from, vote for the candidate who you see is more in line with the word of God. Amen. None of them are perfect. None Amen. of us are perfect. That's right. But you can see. You can see who is more in line that's right. with the word of God. Amen. And Amen. that's how you should be voting. Amen. You know, our country right now, we're in a mess. But we're not the only ones, okay? The world's a mess right now. But we always ask, we want change. We want a revival. We want change. Well, it begins with you. It begins with us. We need to step out and we need to start doing things in line with God's word, Amen. right? Like I said, this guides you for your whole life so you can be ready for that glorious day when the Lord comes and calls you, that you're going to be right there, Amen. you know, flying to meet him, you know, uh, in the spirit. We need to get involved. Uh, speak up and speak out against ungodly legislation that the government is trying to pass, be it federal, state, or local governments. See, the the way the the way that these laws, right? Because not everything just is law. There's a process, and so you need to get involved with what's going on. If you hear of a bill this 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 trying to get passed, and and read the bill. Oh, there's uh, many yeah. on both sides. Who, are, who will let you know what the bill is about, or you can go and you can actually research it. And if the bill you know is ungodly, if you know it's, it's anti-Christ, it's, it's against God's word, then you know that you need to speak out against that, 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 that bill before it becomes a law. Amen. Okay? Amen. Before it becomes a law. And that's how as disciples, yes. followers of Christ, that's how we can uh, start taking back our country, and even for those around the world, because I know there's some other countries that they have a similar uh, type of, of government, they can start taking over their countries and put it, getting them back in line with God's will. Okay? Amen. Now, speak out against corporations with demonic agendas. Amen. And you know they're out there. Amen. If you... Disney. I, Disney. I, I stopped watching the news... Because honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I know that it was the Holy Spirit that rebuked me. You're, you're you're focusing too much on what's going on out there, Amen. and 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 I realize I come you know and thank you Lord because I realize that what's more important is that I'm on that plane ride. I'm on Amen. that flight Amen. home. Amen. That's right. Okay, but but I also it also uh, the Holy Spirit also showed me that. You can still get involved, but it, it, I don't want it taking your attention from what I want you to do. Amen. Okay, yeah. so I, you know, I see things. Uh, uh, one of the uh, I love this pastor. His name is Jack Hibbs from Chino Hills Chapel. Uh, Chino Hills Chapel Hill. He has a, a program, and uh, they'll they'll I have him on my, on my email, and they'll send you. Uh, bills that are coming up here in california or, or or federal government so i'm aware because okay oh this bill is coming out and and they make it easy look it's on godly call them or or just send this letter here it's already written for you send this letter to you hey i don't want this to to pass so you, there's easy ways that you can do things right but um so demonic uh corporations that, that with demonic agendas for example disney I'm pretty sure most of you are aware what's uh, what's going on with Disney, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they're 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 trying to well they're they're doing it and 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 they don't care anymore. They're out boldly just stating we want to change, we want to indoctrinate, and we want to confuse your kids. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I rebuke that in the name of Amen. Jesus right now. Amen. You know that's wrong, and and Christians, you know that that's wrong. If you're in line with the word of God, you know that that's wrong and you shouldn't be allowing that. 
And what do I mean? Oh, we're not allowing it. Well, okay. Do you buy Disney stuff? Do you still have Disney Plus? Huh? Better you need to get rid of that. You still going to Disneyland and still have plans to go to Disney? You need to, you need to stop that because you're endorsing their agenda. That's right. That's right. Whether, whether you know it or you don't. And if you want to claim ignorance, no. You can't. You can't. Okay? You lived in ignorance when you were of the world. But you're, if, you're in, if you're a follower of Christ, you're not living, living in ignorance no more. You need to be aware, okay, of what's happening, okay? So, Oreos. I'm not, I don't really like Oreos, but I was surprised. Oreos? Oreos is coming out with some, you know, crazy demonic. It's something about your cookie should describe your gender. I read the article and I was like, man, these what? people are nuts, okay? <laughs> these people are nuts, okay? Netflix, you know, they're throwing out garbage too. My Netflix been gone like seven years ago. I, I got rid of that because from the first moment it came out. But those are just some examples, right? There's many more, right? And, and some of them are trying to be more boldy. Right now they're keeping an eye on Disney because they're seeing the Disney right now. I see followers of Christ speaking up and speaking out against Disney. They went and they protested in front of their headquarters, and that's how it should be done. Amen. Letting them know that, you know what? We're not going to stay quiet no more, you know? Amen. So, local school boards who are trying to indoctrinate our children mm -hmm. with evil and demonic ideologies that are anti-Christ, right. okay? Marxism. You all know that doesn't work. It won't work, and I don't want to hear about the European. It's not going to work. It hasn't worked. It's, it hasn't worked, and it won't work. Now, sexualization of our children, the sex programs that they're trying to teach, the sex ed programs that they're trying to uh, place in these, in, in, in these uh, school districts, you need to speak out. Me and my wife and a few friends, we spoke out when Downey uh, School District tried to put out this explicit pornographic sex education. We went over there in order, peaceful, but we spoke out. We went to the board meetings, we went to, and, and we let them know, we don't want this in our, in, in, in our school districts. And, and you know what happened? In an orderly way, with prayer and fasting, Amen. they dropped it, Amen. and they said we're gonna we're gonna look for something different. We hear you, uh, 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 people of Downing. We hear you, and we're gonna look for something that's more appropriate. Amen. Amen. You see, it can happen. Okay, of course, always with the Lord, the Word leading us because we want to do things right. We're not. We don't want to go over there just. Screaming and, and hooting and hollering and stuff like that. We don't do it like that, right? We, we, we let the Lord guide us and stuff. Okay, so And it says What is that? Um, yes, so I'm gonna read Okay, and um, Sorry, I lost myself in my notes, but here it goes. So with that being said, church family, we cannot and must not ever become complacent. Amen. That's okay. Right. For Amen. those of you that don't know what complacent means, I'm pretty sure most of you do. It just means when you know something that's not right, when you when you you understand what's going on, but you're like, well, it doesn't bother me. It's just a movie, or it's just a candy or a cookie. It it's really yeah. These you guys are over exaggerating. That's complacency, Amen. because you need to, you need to be uh, um, doing the Lord's work. And if you know that somebody's pushing ungodly uh, uh, thing, agendas, curriculum, or anything like that, you need to uh, either cold or hot. You need to go out there and speak out against Amen. it. Okay. That's right. Don't let the devil, don't let the enemy lie to you, telling you that it's nothing. It is. You need to be aware. You know, need to pay attention, okay? Amen. And when it comes to the enemy, 
there are attacks and strategies against us. Okay, oh, um, when it comes to the enemy and their attacks and strategies against us, let's not be complacent, complacent right? Uh, because you better believe that they don't stop. They are ruthless and persistent, the enemy, okay? So thank you, so thank the Lord because, uh, so thank the Lord Jesus because he knew and did not leave us alone, Amen. okay? He didn't, when he, when, when, when he told the disciples, he says, I'm going to be leaving and I'm going to go prepare a place for you, but I'm not going to leave you alone, Amen. okay? I'm not going to leave you orphans here, you know, abandoned. I'm going to send you someone, okay? He goes, I'm going to send, I'm going to go to my father and I'm going to ask him to send you the helper, okay? Amen. And... He asked the Father to send us the Helper, the Holy Spirit, who guides us and strengthens us and gives us discernment Amen. against all the tricks of the enemy. But of course, this comes by staying in, in, uh, in the Word, in prayer, and in fasting. Amen. Okay. Amen. Again, I know because I've been there. We have excuses. Oh, I don't have time to read my Word. Every time I pick up the Bible, I start nodding. And when that happens, you need to right then and there pray. Lord, I rebuke the spirit of, 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 of tiredness, of, 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 of sleepiness, whatever it is. You rebuke it in the name of Jesus, okay? Amen. And then you got to be, you got to, you got to, man, you got to be, um, what's that word? What's that saying? Uh, um, I can't remember it. You got to be smart and, and, and know, okay, you know what? If I'm falling asleep, let me listen to the word, okay? And then when you have energy in your heart, then you can read it, you know, then, then you can go back and you read it, okay, now I'm going to come and read it, okay? Uh, there's many things that you can do also to get the word in, okay? You don't have to wait for Sunday or Wednesday uh, night to get the word. Amen. Man, your YouTube, there's uh, other channels that you can go and watch your pastor. Now, of course, stay in the word, because you don't want to get misled because there is a lot of false teachers out there, right. okay? Yes. And, well, how can I tell who's right and who's wrong? Uh, I think the cords, uh, you're on the cord. Uh, how can I tell who's right and who's wrong, okay? We're, then again, right here, this, stay in, this is why you stay in it continually. Amen. Because with this, by reading this and learning it and studying on your own, okay, you don't need... You don't need to go to some seminar or some university. You can read it on your own. The Lord has blessed us where he has allowed us to have a Bible, to be able to have a Bible in our homes, close by. And you, we can read the word of God on our own, by ourselves. Amen. Okay? Amen. So you stay in this, and then when you go and, because you're getting tired and, you're, you know, you're, you're looking for, or you're coming up with all kinds of excuses to read the word, Go listen to the word. Amen. Go listen to, to pastors. The, the, and you will tell you you would know them by their fruits, Amen. by what they're saying, by what they're preaching. Amen. Amen. Because you're gonna okay, okay, he's good, all right? Because he's preaching what the word says right here. If 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 it goes against the word of God, then you know, okay, you know, uh, this guy he's he's no good. Amen. You don't you don't have to hate on him, but you might want to pray for them so they can get, you know, the Holy Amen. Spirit can can change their their ways, right? Uh, there's videos of, 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 of young evangelists on, on YouTube. There's um, and there's there's so many things you uh, you can go on. Uh, if you fall asleep reading the the traditional Bible, hey, I know for a fact you won't fall asleep looking at your phone. Okay, I know for a fact. I know <laughs> you don't fall asleep on your phone looking at your phone. So go on, get that Bible app and start reading. Start reading Amen. the Word of God right there through the phone Amen. or your tablet or whatever it is, your laptop. Okay? You know you're not going to fall. You never fall asleep. You were there for... for <laughs> Lord, help me because uh, that's me too. Okay? That's me too. I'm on there, Lord. But we know we don't fall asleep. We're just sort of like we want to look. So, but you know what? Put an hour to the side. And I'm going to give this to the Lord right here. Amen, and I'm going to read. Amen, amen. And, and, I, and I guarantee you that most of the time, or if not all the time, you're going to be in there for more than an hour. Because you're going to be like, you're going to be just, man, I'm just, I'm, I want to know more. I want to know more. Amen. You know? And so, 
And that's what I pray for. More of you, Lord, and less of me. Okay? You guide me, you lead me. Okay? So, with that being said, I have... I'm going to end this verse... I'm going to end this with this verse out of Joshua 24, 15. And most of you already know it. Okay? And it goes... And this is out of the New American Standard Bible. If it is disagreeable in your sight to serve the Lord, choose for yourself today whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served, which were beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites who are, who are uh, in whose land you are living. But as for me and my family and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Okay? That is part of the Old Testament, but that fits right now in our time perfectly because you have to choose yes who you're gonna follow Amen. are you gonna follow the lord all in a hundred percent for him living for him surrendering to his will okay you need to take yourself out of the way because if you keep trying to put oh well you know this this novella you know it, it's 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 oh it's a nice novella but you know <laughs> Man, and I know no, my, my the, the novela, the novelas, the, the Latina, Latino novelas, they're raunchy. You ain't going to sit here and tell me that they're not raunchy. And then, uh, so English old operas, the same thing. Uh, any other TV shows, and, and, and you know, I'm going to bring it up because I had a word with my daughter, right? Because all of a sudden she just got into these Marvel uh, 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 shows, right? Uh, and they're not all they're not all good. And I was telling her, and she felt upset because I told her you need to get rid of Disney Plus. You need to get rid. And she was oh, but my. Sh well, who are you gonna serve? Mm -hmm. Right now you're being complacent. You're being lukewarm right now because the world has you. What the world is offering you, the world mm -hmm. the world's already got a grip on you. Mm -hmm. You know, rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and there's other shows that you can. I'm not saying you can't watch no shows. But there's other shows who are, they, and they might not be shows that, that, that proclaim Jesus or not, but, but they're shows that are decent. They're good morals, right? Uh, so, yes, they're clean. They're not, they're not trying to teach you or teach your children, uh, you know, the way to hell. You know, they're just, they're just clean, right? And, and that's what we should do. Now, I am going to do it because I feel that some of the, uh, some of us uh, uh, always say, "Well, I didn't know about that." There's my kids right now, and, and I enjoy because I'm uh, I'm sitting here while they're watching uh, their their TV, their their shows on YouTube or on or on uh, Prime, and uh, allegories. It's a cartoon with little owls, and man, they're getting the word. I was just sitting there amazed how. They're just the word of God is just is just getting driven into them like man and they're learning and I see them reacting to it. They're asking me questions about Jesus. They're asking me questions about God and, and everything else, right? My daughter, my eldest daughter, the one that I told her about the Marvel, she understands. I I, I thank the Lord because the Lord has blessed me with a daughter who is not wild. She's 17 years old, but she's not wild. She's here at home. She's she's. Uh, playing on wh what college she's going to go to and uh, she's actually looking for Christian colleges to go to not these secular crazy colleges that, that, that you know most of the time they're not even learning nothing good they're out there just partying and, and learning some crazy stuff right so I thank the Lord for that uh, there's uh, Lifeway Kids there's uh, the SB what's that other uh, Superbook. a, a super book from the CBN super book it doesn't matter if it's oh that's 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 a Baptist church it that's that's it doesn't matter if they're t getting taught the Word of God right remember you're the spiritual leader in your house whether you're the father you're the spiritual leader whether you're a single mother you're the spiritual leader of that of your family Amen. okay and you need to take the steps to guide your children now if you have been watching some Christians but you're like well you always got to be there and tell them look this is what this means, this is what it means. You guide them. That's your job, okay? So with that, uh, I will leave you, and I pray that you guys will always choose the Lord. Amen. Okay? Amen.
Thank you. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, man of God. I appreciate Amen. you allowing God to use you and speak boldly, you know, and, and not compromise. Because that's, that's right. what this. That's, right. that's see, that's what it takes in the kingdom nowadays. Because see, when we begin to compromise the kingdom yeah. by living that life of a lukewarm life, mm -hmm. you don't understand the effects of being a lukewarm Christian. Mm -hmm. See, not only does it affect your ability to get into the kingdom or being active in the kingdom, that's but true. then you get to the point to where you'll just start allowing any and all things. To enter into our society and take precedence over the things of God. Yes. So being not lukewarm is important as a man and woman of God. Right. Yes. And so yes. that's what I got out of this message today, man yes. of God. And, yes, I'm a, and I'm so excited and happy that you were bold enough to get up here and proclaim it. Yes. Because see, there you're not hearing a lot of this in the church. You're not. And the reason why you're not hearing this in the church is because they don't want their pews to start dispersing. Mm. Yep. Mm. They don't want their pews to start dispersing because when they pews start dispersing, then guess what? They stop getting the flow of money that they mm. desire. Mm. So they don't want to. They don't want to speak the truth. They don't want to speak about those lukewarm Christians because they probably got half of their half of their yeah. <laughs> half of the people in their church are probably lukewarm, <laughs> and they live in that life, and that's their money. So they're not going to, need to speak the, against that and tell them to get right. Yeah. But this ministry, chosen few outreach ministries, hey, we are about we're souls in. being saved. We're all in for God. We yes. are all in, yes. <laughs> and we're not compromising the word. We are not a church. Can we repeat that? Yes. We are not a church, <laughs> and we ain't worried about no pews and none of those things. We're about the word of God getting out, and that's what Amen. each and every one of these men and women of God are doing, yes. allowing God to speak the truth through them. Amen. And I want to thank you, Evangelist, for allowing us truth to come through you today, and you keep on letting it happen, Amen. and don't you compromise ever. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen? All right. Amen. Praise God. Amen for Jesus. All right. I don't know about you, but dang. I don't know about you, man of God, but what you did, you got rid of my marbles, man. <laughs> man, brother, man, I kind of love, I love those marbles. This pastor talking all like that. Yeah, I love marbles. Man, man, I got convicted. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I got to get it right. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Well, I thank God for the truth. I thank God for his word. I thank God for his anointing. And we just thank each and every one of you for tuning in. You, didn't, you could have been listening or doing a lot of other things, but you made a decision that you wanted to tune in and get the word of God. But what I'm praying and hoping is that this word that you received, that it elevates you to a whole nother level, Amen. that it helps your walk. If you're one of those individual Christians that have been living that thin line, of on the fence or leaning on the fence, that lukewarm Christian, and you've recognized that through this message, I encourage you to get closer to the Lord. I encourage you as the man of God spoke to get in your word because it is going to be your word that is going to get you off the fence and get you aligned up with your purpose in the kingdom. Amen. 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 But without further ado, we are going to be bringing up at this time Evangelist Rosa. She's going to pray us out. And after she pray us out, I'm going to come back up and I'm going to end this. And we are going to have a blessed little eating real quick before we disperse and do whatever else we have to do today. But God bless you. OK. Amen. Amen. God bless everybody. If there's two things that should stick in your head, it'll be get off that fence. Activate your power in the name of Jesus and stay in the word. And then let's pray out. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For this powerful word that you have given us, God, the yes, reminder of not leaning on that fence, not sitting on that fence, or not even try to trip on that fence, yes. Heavenly Father. We ask you, Lord, that you give us that power in the name of Jesus to bring your word. We receive what you gave us this afternoon, Heavenly Father. We ask that you bless every single person that has heard this word heavenly father and may they activate it in the name of jesus heavenly yes, father we ask you everything in the mighty name of jesus yes, thank you lord amen. 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 amen all right all right another segment of our hour of empowerment has come to an end but as i said before i know you were blessed so if you have not yet shared this start sharing some of you, you'll probably be watching it later. And I want when you do watch it, I want you to share, 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 share. I know you're sharing because I see the views. Yeah. 
So I know how many shares is going on, praise God. Hallelujah. So again, we want to thank you for tuning in. We want to thank you for taking out this time. We pray that God continues to bless you and your family and that you will be able to have a, re a blessed rest of your Sunday. But I would like to let you all know that coming up this upcoming Saturday, we're going to be back on our Reach Ministry Bible Studies, and we're going to be having Minister Carrie. She's going to be coming, Amen. and she's going to be teaching on Romans Amen. chapter 14, and you don't want to miss that. So tune right back in here on Chosen Few Outreach Ministries live feed next Saturday at 2 p.m. to receive a word from God in Romans chapter 14 from Minister Carrie. God bless you. God bless your family. And we hope to see you back here on next week. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.